Well, things getting off to a feisty start Wednesday night. Nikki Haley sending jabs back at Ron DeSantis. Both GOP candidates attacking each other over their policy records and promises on the campaign trail. Here now to break it all down and to discuss how Haley did is the former chairman for the South Carolina Republican Party, Kayton Dawson, also a Haley surrogate. Uh, Kayton, great to see you. Thank you for being here. Good morning, Kelly. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So many analysts now pointing to a strong performance by DeSantis last night, noting it was one of his best debates. Uh, the number is close for these two. Haley's pulling ahead of DeSantis in some national polling. Uh, do you think last night helped to add to the momentum of her campaign? And who are you predicting will walk away with a win in Iowa? Well, I, I certainly think you saw the difference between Governor Haley and her executive experience and international policy experience. Uh, versus the, the governor of Florida. You know, there, there are a lot of things going on here, Kelly, that, that uh, yesterday was a big day. Uh, I, I do think that the debate got overshadowed by Hunter Biden, Nick Saban, Chris Christie, then Trump and Fox sticking it to CNN by, by programming him at the same time. And, and it did turn into what I would call a Republican cage match. Uh, a little yelling, shouting, snipping, sniping and griping. But I think you saw the difference if you're if you're a Republican voter in Ron DeSantis from Florida, who really owes his fame to Donald Trump, uh, and I think you saw Nikki Haley, who was a strong governor uh, in South Carolina, very successful, uh, historic in being elected the first minority and first woman governor of the state of South Carolina, uh, showed her she'll be able to go toe to toe with Donald Trump. Uh, Ron DeSantis doesn't stand a chance against Donald Trump in a debate. I, I think we know that. So going forward, I, I do think, you know, Donald Trump's uh, today, he, he's eating the news cycle up. As you see, Kelly, it just has the he has that ability to deliver his message. He's in court. Uh, people think he's being taken advantage of. And so, you know, he's going to do well in Iowa. He's going to run into Nikki Haley in New Hampshire. And then he's going to run into her in, in, in a two two person race in South Carolina. And that could change the whole trajectory of the world when we get through with South Carolina. A lot of dynamics at play at the moment. Uh, so another big moment last night was Chris Christie's hot mic on his campaign's live stream discussing the Republican rivals in the race, uh, specifically Haley. I'm sure you've heard it by now. Uh, we'll play the yeah. clip. Yeah, I mean, look, she spent $68 million so far, just on TV. Spent $68 million so far, $59 million by DeSantis, and we spent 12 I mean, who's punching above their weight and who's getting a return on their investment, you know? And she's going to get smoked, and you and I both know it. She's not up to this. All right, so some raising eyebrows now as to whether or not this was intentional. Uh, that aside, he noted there that she spent, quote, $68 million just on TV advertisement, outspending both Christie and DeSantis. Uh, Kayton, is that an eye-opening number to you, considering she's still 20 points behind the former president? Well, first, the number's wrong. I mean, Christie's misinformed on how much Nikki has spent on television. Uh, second of all, uh, Chris Christie's a talented guy, a fellow who won in New Jersey, who wasn't supposed to win, a good prosecutor, and, and you know, he's just sour. And he didn't catch on. Uh, he has some support, but it's, it, I mean, for $12 million, he should have gotten more than that. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, he'll, he'll be a fixture in politics for a long time just because of his Trump Christie family battles. Uh, you know, as far as him being a, uh, projecting what's going to happen, what we do know is he's out of the race and he's gone. Uh, uh, he still has a platform because of his success in New Jersey. But at the end of the day, it's become a three-person race, soon to be a two-person race. That's what we needed. That's what we want. And we'll see what the Republican Party wants. Is it the next generation of leadership to step up? Is it a, a strong woman? Is it the governor of Florida? Or is it the current person who's going to be spending most of his time in court instead of fixing the path of America? We'll, we'll see. Uh, I think Nikki Haley is... Is packaged and built for the long run. She has always said she's in it to 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 win it, and I, I think it, it 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 is very we're very proud of her in South Carolina. I think we have found a lot of friends all over the country that are ready for a change, especially in Republican Party politics.
Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.